Hey guys, welcome back. If you have not seen part one of this video, make sure you watch it. It will be located on my channel. So, as I was saying, I love this Koenig Sega Gear. It's one of my favorites. I just want to show you. It looks beautiful for the record. That I've driven it 477.83 miles. That's quite a bit. Now where were we? We were at... Let's go through my massive 235 car list, which I have way too many cars. NASCAR is, if you are in the NASCAR, are really fun, but other than that, I, I would stay away from them. There are better race cars. So when we get in the S-Class, we have a lot of fun ones. The Beato Mantide, which looks like a freaking spaceship. This thing is insane looking. And look at this thing. Look at it. The cool thing is the rear end. Yes, that's, this is a real car. Not a prototype, it's a real car. That's a, it goes really ridiculously fast too. This one's a good one too. The GTR Spec V, or 5, or whatever it may be. Um, this one's all wheel drive, so your launch is at 9.9, .9, which, if we go to a vehicle that doesn't have it, it's at 8.0. Or 7.8. .8. So this car has ridiculous launch times. This one is normally an A class car, but I've upgraded it to S because I felt that it could compete better in S-Class than A-Class, and I just wanted to go faster. This one's the Ferrari 330p4, the second most expensive car in the game, and from the back, it looks kind of weird. You know, it looks real odd, but the side and the front of the car look awesome. The interior is really weird, too. See that little white thing right there? That's the mirror. And that's the other mirror. It's a right-hand drive as well, as you can see. Now, some of the other cars that I really like to drive are like the Koenigsegg CC8S, which, if you can't tell yet, I love Koenigseggs overall. They're one of my favorite cars. I have seen one in person, which absolutely made my day. Here's some other vehicles from the class. I like the F1 as well. This one's a fun one to drive to. So if we move in the A class now, there are some cars that are good that I like to drive, and there are some cars that are bad. One of them that is both at the same time is this Bentley Continental Supersport. Now, because of the game, the game likes to uh, take anything that's really an all-wheel drive and make it get off the starting line fast. So it has a 9.2 launch time, but in reality, it, I don't think a 4,409-pound vehicle can get off that fast. So this one's like a good and bad one. It handling's awful, but it speed's pretty good. If you still want a big car and you want something better, Look towards the RS6. As you can see, it's got better handling. It's got way better braking. So this car will win in the corners. Also, some vehicles I like are the Vipers in this one. Vipers are a lot of fun. There's another Viper. The car that I have did not realize up until a little bit ago I've driven the most is the 08 Audi R8. I like this car as well. For BMW, for Audi, well, I'll start with Audi first. I really like this RS4. This RS4 is a lot of fun. I like that R8 as well, but they're a lot of fun to drive. This was the first Audi I ever got the S4. They are just a ton of fun to drive. They're real, they're real easy going. And they start off the line ridiculously fast. So then we go on the BMW. Now, I like three BMWs, which are like all the BMWs in A-Class. 
2008 BMW M3. I'm gonna go with the smallest one, the M3. And then the M5, which is a download content. If you got this game with a special code, you could put it in, and it's better than the normal one. And it's the newest car in the game, 2012. One of the newest. The other one I like, which I personally think is my favorite, is the BMW M6 Coupe. Now I did put a white, if you're seeing like a white glare, see that white glare right there? I put a two-tone color on it. So it is black, but that it's a white two-tone color. And I tinted the windows. It looks sweet. I absolutely love this car. It's a big old dad's car, if you want to call it anything. And then we get into this one, which Impreza's and Lancers are always fun to drive. But one that I always found was really fun was, like, the Scirocco. I wish they sold this in America, but it's only a European exclusive. Sadly. I put some decals on it, and I changed it so that it has the single exhaust pipe in the back. These are all the things that you see on this are technically from Volkswagen. Pretty cool design. It's no, you know, art show worthy, but suffices. Some other ones, I'm in a love-hate relationship with, with muscle cars of this class because you have great speed, great acceleration, but look at the handling and braking. They're awful. And that's just, that's just how the cars are set up. The Stealth RT Turbo, I really like for whatever reason. I upgraded the turbochargers on it so the thing's just ridiculously fast. S2000 is another good one. See, here's another one. It's Ever Lake Merrill SS. As you can see. And I feel kind of bad. I passed the Challenger I have. So all you muscle heads get one now. This one's a unique one. I got this for pre-ordering Forza Horizon, which ended up being a very good game. As you can see, available fall 2012. Follow us. And as you can see, it is an SRT8. So th this vehicle, while cool looking, you know, looks looks pretty cool. But I don't like the colors. That the pink's weird. Call call me a whatever, but I don't know. I just. I understand what they were trying to go for, but I think like if it was a like, green, it would look cooler. Like a blue and green. I don't know. I feel like that would look gross, though. McGain RS250 is another one by Renault. BMW M1. Which, actually, the designer of the BMW M1 just retired. Which I'm really sad about because he made some really cool cars. A Z4, I like that as well. Skyline GTR V spec. And yes, I have to say it, this is the car that Paul Walker drove in um, Need for Speed. And Paul Walker is a great guy. I, w I wish that his accident did not happen to him, but hey, you know, life happens. Some more Corvettes in here. More about this. So, when it comes to this, the 250 GTO, most people look at this car and be like, I don't want that thing, because it's 10 million credits. But, take a look at it though. It looks sweet, come on. And this is the best part. Look at that quad exhaust. Look at how far it hangs out on the end. That is some sick quad exhausts. So it's it's fun to drive though. It is it's really fun. It's set up just like a muscle car, but a little better. <laughs> Here's 
here's some here's two GTOs. 1997 Mitsubishi GTO and the 06 Pontiac GTO. Now I go on a C class, which C class is where I generally don't go, but if I do, I like this Aston Martin DBR1. Another very expensive car. And then I designed both of these designs, which you can find on the storefront. I created this one first, and then I created this one. They're both for Mazda RX-8s. Another vehicle I like, the 03 Renault Sport Silo V6. Those are some of the vehicles I like in there. Oh, I can't forget this. The Plymouth Cuda. My God. A little bit of muscle out of me. Challenger RT, whatnot. So then we are going to move into D class. Hertz Olds 442, another very nice car. Cougar Eliminator, Firebird, the Charger RT, a lot of muscle cars in this group, and those are the fun ones. Even though there are some other vehicles like this DB5 Vantage. The also cars really take this one. Yeah, there are, like I said, there are other ones, but muscle cars really take it. I mean, the Mach 1's just beautiful. So we get into the E Class. E Class, I rarely dip into. Same with F Class, but if I had to, I like the Eclipse GTS. 2002 Turbo is always a nice one, the 2 Series. Fiesta z tech whatnot. And we get in the F-Class. F-Class, Chevy Volt. That's, that's, that's pretty much the only thing I'll ever touch in here. I mean, yeah, there are some other cars, like the 2000 GT and the DeLorean and the Gremlin, but really, the Volt's the only way to go. So that's just, that's my garage. <laughs> Actually, this is going to be a couple part series. I was just talking about my garage, my favorite cars. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I got really off track there. Um, Auto Vista is a cool one. Get the checkout cars. I can show you the, the Peugeot. Now, as you can tell, the music is gone. And we'll get in the car. Now, do I like this car? Yes. But I cannot stand the viewpoint inside the vehicle. This does not give it justice at all, but this is your viewpoints. Like, you're going to race in that? There you go. You're going to race out of that. No, that's not going to happen. The best part is how you get out of it, which I'm getting out the wrong side, but you got to like do all this crap and then boop. And um, so, yeah, there's there's like the auto Vista and there's a bunch of cars in here. A couple that you don't even get to drive in the game. Like those two. But every single one, you can drive the vehicle in the game. So anyways, that's it for me for this part. Check out part three on my channel. I will see you later. Peace out.